My name is Frank Troika, and I've been a band director for the last 30 years. I got started in band most, uh, most the same way everybody else did, I guess. I raised my hand one day when they asked if anybody wanted to join the band, and I'm not really sure why I did it. We didn't have a very musical family, but uh, I saw other kids playing instruments that were older than me, and it always looked like something I thought would be fun to do. So for me, I guess at that time, it was more about uh, just wanted to be a part of something I saw other kids being a part of and enjoying. Oftentimes, I think we as teachers think that simply because we've told the students something that they've actually learned it. Telling is not teaching. We know that they've learned when they are able to demonstrate consistently what we're trying to get them to do. Whether it's learning how to play an instrument and keeping, maintaining correct hand position, embouchure articulation over the long haul, or something as simple as what we might consider simple, uh, leadership training. We will train our student leaders early on, particularly in the context of, of the high school band, and think that once they've completed that training and the audition that they're now prepared to step into those roles. And most of the time that's really not the case. The leadership tri training and tryout process is really more of a springboard for their real leadership education, which is, happens on the job. So in my own efforts to make the leadership experience meaningful and rewarding for the kids, I have to engage them in ongoing training and that means throughout the, the year, not just the marching band season, but concert band as well, giving them opportunities to uh, plan with me, to collaborate, and to help them see how they can be effective by giving them feedback throughout the entire process. 